Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Alrighty, so yeah, I tried a little bit more like to record a couple times but I was interrupted because phone calls and people are in the house so whatever you hear, please don't mind that in the background I mean. Yeah, so um, last time we had a lot of things happening to us, like we woke up in the locker room, we we're normal people when we met the monocups which are new and no monokuma so far as we see and we met Shuichi, Saihara and when we had got flashback light and when we got new ultimate talents or we had them I don't know about that yet so yeah many things happened and many new interesting people that we will now finally come to uh, learn about, like, see which type of ultimates are in the school and I can't read that, so <laughs> it's just a waste of time. Oh, let's look around first. Hmm, can click on that. It looks uh, like like a speak speaker system, you know, but nothing else, so let's see, classroom, see. Oh. Um. It won't open. Let's look somewhere else. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Okay. It will be a little bit difficult for voices. I already, like... Yeah, I already, like... Um... <laughs> I noticed that when I was recording the last time it will be difficult. So what's this? It looks like a nice piano room, I guess, for me. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a music room? <clears throat> okay, it's locked too. Huh? Huh, it won't open. But this is... Huh, it won't open. But this room does look like it was made for me. That's true. Sign. Oh yeah, there we are. Five little... Sign. Yeah, hi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, uh, uh, they're here. <laughs> oh. Hey, what do you think this place is? Ah! Check out all the fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for records. Huh? huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? You oh. stupid! What the hell? Why would you tell them? We were trying to make it all dramatic. <laughs> yeah, real dramatic. Uh, oh, I see. I'm sorry. Hmm. Huh? Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? Yay! We want you guys to keep owning, owning your ultimate talents, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab, but we set up labs for all the ultimates too. Of course. Well, actually, most of them's too hidden though. Um. Okay. Uh, by the way, the reason this research, this research lab is still locked is, uh... Um, is? Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry. We're, hu we're hustling to get it already. Hmm, so you... It's, it's interesting, so I guess we are, we're in a hurry to do everything? Just wipe your asses and wait! Um, okay. The hell you saying? That's good advice and all that. Don't you mean say, hold your roses? <laughs> Wanna get to such a dummy? Oh. Hey! What are you living at? I bully you like I bully Monodem. Aw. Aw, poor Monodem. I feel bad for him. So long, farewell! Yeah, bye guys. Um. They're pretty amusing. <laughs> It seems like a music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey! Do you think... <clears throat> do you think there are other rooms like this for everyone? Hmm. I... I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought it was just a music room. Aw, I really wanted to play the piano. Aw, it's okay, girl. Oh well. I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Hmm, that's true. So this is the ultimate pianist's lab. Let's see again. 
The ultimate pianist reached that research lab, huh? Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want, and I finally escaped this place. That's interesting, so I guess everyone has their own ultimate room? Well, that makes it even more interesting, like, what are the other ultimates going to be like? So, let's just walk around a little bit and find the other ones, right? Beautiful lie. Oh, and where we have a first person. Let's first investigate this. The bronze dragon statue. It's like something from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, what is this? Oh, <clears throat> okay, the voice is straining me a little bit, but it's okay. Hmm. It looks like a dragon statue. Hey! But why is there a dragon statue in a school's hallway? No. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Maybe it's part of a school's official official art collection or something. Uh. Um. Uh. Still no idea. <laughs> oh. God damn it! You ultimate detective can't even figure something like this. Hmm. Oh well. Let's let's talk to this person. Like I saw her quite a few times, but I couldn't really. T like say much about her because she seems so um she reminds me a little bit of my zono from the first game because of her blue hair and stuff but her whole like attitude is different so i'm not sure and i don't like let's, let's try to guess what her ultimate talent might be hmm so far she she seems to think about much maybe she's a scientist something like that because of the glasses and stuff well she looks kind of smart so I don't, I don't know. But I like her design, it's pretty cool. It's cute. Yeah. Oh god, the voices. Um. Um. Hey. Hey, are you an ultimate student? Uh, hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Uh. <laughs> huh? Hmm, did she not hear me? Okay then. Hey! Hello! <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe she... Maybe she's deaf? I don't know. Huh? What? She still can't hear me. Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin? Um, that will be kind of weird. Because I'm pretty sure she was talking before. <laughs> no. Oh, well, we don't remember before. God damn it. <laughs> No, I don't think that's the case. No. Man, my voices will be very trained in this playthrough. I can already see it coming. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. <laughs> <laughs> and felt his squint squish beneath my fingertip. Uh... Come on, react. Do something. Huh? Poking her doesn't work either. And maybe she is just a doll. Maybe she's the ultimate. Um, like, what is her name? It's like. Oh man, I don't know the. Like. The people who are not talking, who are like doing some. Who are like just standing still until you give them money or something like that. Maybe she's like. Um, maybe she's something like that? I don't know. Some type of artist, maybe? I uh, <laughs> I don't know. The ultimate doll. <laughs> but she looks so real. Try it, Chuichi. Puck, puck. <laughs> huh? Aw, poor guy. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Just do it, it's so fun. Aw. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek. Goddamn. Hey now. Oh man, she talks. Okay, now she's finally reacting. Now, oh God, what's her voice type? I guess something soft, either. So I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected! Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. I see. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. <laughs> Wait. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? <laughs> oh, poor guy. It's okay. Huh? Because she wasn't responding. <laughs> no. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. 
I was okay. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. Oh well, that's kind of rude. Um, you were ignoring us. Isn't that a bit rude? Exactly. Girl, do you know not do you okay do you not know any courtesy around here? Maybe it has something to do with her talent? I'm not sure. I can't tell what she is. But um well, isn't it true to force someone to talk when they don't want to? That's a good point, because yeah, I can imagine myself in situations where some people really like try to talk to me and I'm like, um yeah, no. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You have a point. I give you that. Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Alright! Oh man, she's not really eager. No, let's talk. What do you want to test start with? Right, right. My favorite Doraemon episode is number uh, 53, the one with security cameras and target practice. That's kind of... <laughs> no, we have the ultimate Otaku already, so maybe she is... Something of, like, oh man, the ultimate fangirl. <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, um, before you talk to, uh, um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Yeah, that will be very useful for starters. Oh, my name is Sumugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Okay, I have her voice kind of, oh. Ultimate cosplayer, that's so cool! I love cosplaying. Like, not myself, but seeing, like, cosplays from other people is pretty cool. I will definitely try that out sometime. Somehow. Someday. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Sumugi Shirogane. Okay. Hmm. So, you're a cosplayer? I guess. Are you surprised? Uh, I get that a lot, since I'm so plain. Uh, sadly, that's pretty accurate in her case because I didn't expect that either. Because I thought maybe she's something like scientist, scientific, uh, um, like something in that direction. Because of the way she just she she looked pretty simple, so I wasn't sure like what her talent might be. So, uh, but 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 that's cool. I'm not expecting that, but no. I mean. It sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. Oh, okay, Kaida. Calm you down. <laughs> oh. I see. I bet it's because you've got people ogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Kaida, don't tell me. Are you going that way? Well, I don't mind because I mean, as a like, just thinking about it, if we're like the main protagonist, I guess not just we we will be like not just interacting with the boys, but with the girls too. So maybe you have to go both ways, if you know what I mean. Damn, I can already see the shipping happening, guys. I can already see that. Uh. Um, Kaida, you sound like a creepy old man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shuichi. Um, not really. I don't really like people looking at me like that. It like, makes sense. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But... But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before the characters. Okay... Hmm... You're right! My sister is kind of like... Screaming outside and... I hope she will stop with that. <laughs> Like, my sister's like singing outside the door, so I hope you don't mind that. Hopefully, you won't hear this. <laughs> I'd rather wear my outfits myself, with love, and give them to people like that. Sorry that I got a little bit distracted. <laughs> it was just she, uh, she just walked past my door, and it's kind of hard not to hear this. But that's cool, so you do cosplay, like, you were making co the co costumes yourselves, and now you're like. Um, now you're driving for yourself, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, you're pretty intense. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. Hmm. That's a good thing. I mean, if you really enjoy something and just to make like people happy about it, like it's the same thing I feel about when I'm doing my own stuff, like doing my um, videos right now and thinking about all the people that are really enjoying them with me, 
like this let's play for example and other playthroughs that I did it's just making me also really happy just thinking but like no and now that we're talking about it just saying <laughs> throwing it out there guys and thanks to my sponsors I can use materials that are just plain expensive hmm that's that's nice I see Ooh. Well, of course, the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. I have to make my voice a little bit different or we will sound too too much alike. Oh, well, of course, the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. No, it's no big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at a zoo. Hmm. Hmm. It's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Hmm. That's hey! Cool. Yeah, that's a nice way to put that, because that's, that's a little bit like how I see cosplayers myself, too. Especially when they are, like, professional ones. Uh, is it alright if I ask you something, too? Of course it is. Just go ahead. Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right! Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we need to ask her that. Nice job, Shuichi. Yeah, good job, boy. It's from that one thing! <laughs> ah, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Hmm. Well, well, uh, me too, because it seems kind of um. weird. <clears throat> it almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. It can be. <laughs> now that you've mentioned it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. Um, this is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? Well, what do you expect, girl? It's Zang and Rompa game, so of course it's a little bit weird. You can't be like expecting things to be normal around here. So. Yeah, we'll see what will still coming. Like, we're still in the beginning, so... I'm sorry if I'm getting a little bit distracted, because some people are like to get really loud outside, and I don't know why, because it's pretty early in the morning. And... <sighs> but I'm getting right into this. Just focus. <laughs> There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. Oh. Okay, so there's no exit. It would really surprise me if we had one, so... And it seemed like we were the only people here. Actually... And we going, are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Girl, calm down, it's okay. I, I think maybe we can't still get out. We didn't explore everything, at least I didn't, so... We can't be sh for sh saying that for sure. Hmm. Um... Kaede, what's wrong? Uh-oh. Is that the right voice? <laughs> Kaede, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. <laughs> oh my god, girl. Please, keep it in your skirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this again? God damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. That's a good way of thinking about it, Kaede. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Hmm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to just be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah, that's true. That's a good way to think about this, girls. Yeah. Yeah, so let's try to find a way out. Yay! Hi, Chef Fragments! So Mugi's report card has been updated based on your experience of her. That's nice. Okay, so she's like the ultimate cosplayer. That's nice. That's cool. I like it. Can you say yeah. something? Can you talk about some stuff? Yeah, being depressed won't help anything. Do you want to try? Oh. It's plain to see the next con is coming up. <laughs> what should we do? Uh, that's right. What am I going to do if I don't finish my outfit in time? Oh man, that sounds pretty intense. <laughs> okay. 
So, now we have like Tsumugi, let's see. Report card. Let's see. Oh, she's a tad bit taller than me. 5-9. Mm -hmm. On August 15. That's cool. EVA foam. I don't know what that is. And it doesn't like this orderly cues. This may be something to do with uh, like her talent of, of cosplay stuff because it doesn't say anything to me, so... Maybe she knows about the ultimate otaku. Maybe. I don't know, maybe she met him. I'm not sure, I'm just trying to figure out the connections, guys. So did we came from here? I think we did. Yeah. Yep, okay, no, this is the place that we just came from. <laughs> So, I guess it's all for here. Now let's just go downstairs, I think. Man, everything is really overgrown in this place, isn't it? Like, all these plants and vines and trees and... And all the flowers, like, that's interesting. What's, a, what's with the pattern? It really reminds me a little bit of a fun house from the second game. Ugh. Ugh. Bad memories are bad. All right, let's look around now. Oh, so it's space there. More trees, more things. Bathroom. A girl's bathroom. But so, let's go inside. This is a girl's bathroom, right? Yes. Oh, no auto, Captain. You know, Shuichi, do you mind waiting here? Uh, okay. I <laughs> don't... Uh, um, sure. God damn it. Sorry, boy, I don't want to make you embarrassed. Jeez, did, don't give me that weird look. Oh, I'm just gonna check if there's anything inside. I doubt there will be an exit, but just in case. Sorry. Oh, so, sorry. Aww. He seems like, like a little bit like a kid, you know? He seems so innocent and nice, and so far it was oh. so cool. I really like him so far. He is a nice little companion. <laughs> a cute little nugget right by my side. The toilet seemed normal, but it's weird that the plants are growing with this fig. Yeah. So, let's look around now. Oh, I can't. Okay, let's see. The monitor's, this monitor is way too high tech to be used in the school. Yeah, that's true. Is there anything else I can investigate? I guess not. Can I smack things? Oh, nice. One of coins. Come to me. Need more mana coins. Come on. Can I do anything else here? Oh, I can hit you. Nice. Give me more coins. Nope, there's nothing else here, I think. Yep, I think that's it. Okay, let's go outside here and look like to live. Yes, please. Let me leave. Hmm. Okay, now let's go to the boys' bathroom because I'm probably. Yeah. <laughs> will, be, will I be able to or will I not be able to? This is a boys' bathroom, right? I, I, I can't go in there. Not even in this situation. Oh, sorry, girl. Streechy, my main. Can you do it? Um, uh, if you want, I could go look at. I could go look. Huh? What? I'm not that curious about what's in there. Hmm. The, the many questions from a school. What does a boy's bathroom look like? What do the teacher rooms look like? The, the never answered questions. Remember. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Oh, wait here a minute. You're such a good guy. <laughs> He's so nice. With that, with that, Shuichi opened the door and walked inside. Hmm. Hmm. It was uh, just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. I see. Hmm. That scared me. Maybe detectives live for these kind of scary situations. What are you talking about, girl? 
We also went inside one, like, like in the girls' bathroom, so I don't think it's that weird. I think I saw someone over there. We came from upstairs, right? I think we did. So, let's just explore what's about here. Like, wait. This looks like something... Hmm. I wonder what these are, like, about. Maybe that's a school, like, these look like normal pictures, like, from, you can see, whoa, it's a guy. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? Maybe for hints, you know? God damn it. Yeah, this. What's this? Some rocky areas. I have a feeling these are hints to something, but I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. On these pictures. Hey, dude. Oh, it's Mr. Fancy Pants. Uh, look at you. Wait, did we? Yeah. Okay. No, we didn't meet anyone else except for um, what's her name? What's her name? Sumugi. Sumugi. Yeah. We didn't meet anyone else except her. So. Okay. So let's talk to you, man. Yeah, you have a very different look. So. Hey. Wait, what can he be? I think he is something with something very artistic because he just looks like it. Because he looks so fancy. Um, maybe he is like some type of designer. That's my guess. Designer, actor, movie maker. I don't know. Maybe something like that. So let's see. I don't like his style. Look at the piercings. Damn. Well, he is pretty fancy. Looks pretty cool on him. Seems like a cool guy so far. So, let's see. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. No. Uh, the situation could be better though. Yeah, that's true. That's a good statement. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? Well, I do, but they don't, so... But in actuality, no, we don't. Um, if you're asking us, then, um, you don't remember either, do you? Actually... <laughs> you're the same way... <laughs> you're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? Yeah, but yeah, we don't. Sorry, man. I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. I asked ours too. We all said we don't remember. Pretty weird, huh? Yeah, that's true. Like, you talked about, um... Like, he was, like, talking so much about things like... Like, he knew more than he let on. I'm not sure if this is still the case. So... I'll be curious to find out more about this guy. So the others don't remember either. You got me. <laughs> yeah. It's like we all have amnesia or something. Pretty weird, huh? Sounds like a plot twist from another game, huh? <laughs> oh, um, sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh. What are you talking about? Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm the ultimate Dang and Rumpa player. <laughs> uh. But. Uh, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... That means... Whoa! What the hell happened to you? Where is the music going? What's a fat look? Jesus Christ. Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Oh well, why do I look so happy about that? Do you... I don't want to freak you out or something, do you... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh? What? What happened to your face, man? What is going on? Oh my god. That's not true. Uh, wait, Amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. Yeah. So stuff with the faces, man. No. Or it could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. Um... Do you know about the plot or what? Okay, this guy. 
Suspicion high. Really, really high. I was thinking maybe he seems sketchy, but maybe that's just my misinterpretation. But that is sketchy, guys. What's up with you, man? Can you stop being so creepy? Oh man, you know, don't, don't let me be the new commander of this game. <laughs> oh god, please don't. Uh, let's run for it, Kaida. Yeah, we should get away. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's back to normal. God. Um, maybe he's like the ultimate two-faced person. I'm not sure about that. Oh man. <laughs> In any case... I hope we'll remember soon. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to fuck shit up for everybody. <laughs> uh, um, I don't want to judge. <laughs> you know, I'm n I'm definitely a normal person. Don't mind me. It was just, you know, just a moment of my, you know, nothing. <laughs> You're so, uh, sure, dude. He seems like such a... Like, ah. No, I can't judge. I mean, yeah, okay, he did a pretty creepy face and said some pretty strange things, but he can't be a Nagito Kameda of this game, right? Please, don't be, man. I'm having my eye on you. Okay, so I will definitely remember this, man. So tell me what you are. And I swear to God, if you're the ultimate lucky student, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm so done. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Huh, okay. Hmm, the outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. Oh, don't. Don't tell me. I also forgot my own talent. Oh, boy. So we have that type of guy in this group either. That's... I should have expected it, because there can't be a Danganronpa game without any g great mysteries. So I wouldn't... it wouldn't be that bad if you wouldn't be that sketchy, you know? If you wouldn't be acting so suspicious, and I would not have, like, my eye on him. So... God damn it. I mean, he's not... But that's, that's interesting. It's not a protagonist this time, and it's not, like, someone who's, like, just someone like Kirigiri, he's just his own guy. And he's like, oh god, I don't know. I don't know what to think about him. So he forgot his own talent, huh? Well, he does look like some type of artist. Or stuff like that. Like some something artistic, like I said. Maybe. I don't know. What is he looking like? Maybe some type of salesman? <laughs> the ultimate salesman? Because of this, um... Um thing on his shirt, maybe? I'm not sure what that is, so... But he seems pretty stylish. But I don't know. <laughs> He's confusing me. What? You got me. Phew. I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. Yeah, sure. I just don't remember. Hmm. Is that true? Yeah, probably. Or maybe it's not. Maybe he's just tricking us. Oh well, yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. I mean, I'm kind of creepy and stuff. Like, I just made some weird ass faces, so... I don't blame you for not trusting me yet. It's not like you have trust issues. Are you homophobic or what? <laughs> no, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, um, um, nothing. <laughs> I'm a normal guy. Nothing suspicious around me. <laughs> God damn it! I really hope he's not the Nagito of this game, because so far he has two. He is giving up some vibes, and I don't like it. Just imagine if his hidden ultimate talent or his unknown is actually the ultimate lucky student. That would be so messed up. I can't handle more lucky students. Please don't. Oh. oh, I uh, never told you my name, did I? I think he did before, but like I said, it's before, so we don't remember. <laughs> it's not like I already told you, but when I forgot, I did, right? 
dude, why are you giving me so many strange vibes? Like, so many suspicious vibes? Because that's exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. Like, he did, but then he forgot and stuff. And why is he... Why are you so suspicious, man? Well, he was suspicious before, but now that with his talent, he's still suspicious. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. You're someone no. I'm going to keep my eye. Like, going to keep a lookout for. No, you haven't told me your name yet. Okay, let's see. Give me your name again. My name is Rantaro Mom. Rantaro Mavi, the totally never suspicious person and fast boy of this game. <laughs> well, he looks cool, and I hope he's a nice guy. And maybe that's just like, maybe he's just like, maybe he's like, it's just a prank, bro. I don't, I'm not actually crazy. <laughs> I hope it's something like that. Maybe it's just like, maybe he just had, just seems like it, but he's actually not bad, so. I'm having my hopes. I don't want to judge, but I but, but I'm still judging. <laughs> I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. Okay. But I promise I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. I promise I won't kill you later on and we'll really do bad stuff that will fuck everything over, so trust me, I'm the best boy. <laughs> uh, he seems suspicious, Kate. Um Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. But don't say it in front of him, or he's going to come after us. Oh man. Okay, so Rantaro Mommy. The ultimate question mark. Dum dum dum. For someone who can't remember his talent, he does. He doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's very much true. Is it weird? But I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent. And why do you sound like you just read my thoughts? Are you maybe the ultimate esper? Don't read my mind like that, boy. God damn. Huh? What? Is, is, this, is this weird? Looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. If I find out, I'm going to really mess up this game, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, well, I hope you never find your talent. Can you just stay a normal guy, please? I don't want any crazy people around my... around me, you know? <laughs> no, n not happening soon, girl. I'm gonna find out my talent and then it's going to turn out to be a lot of fun. Just wait for it. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. <laughs> We're gonna live here forever together. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez, stop that. We'll escape soon. Yeah, stop being such... Stop jinxing. Yeah, man, you shouldn't talk like that. You really think it's gonna be that easy? Oh, man, I'm gonna have my eyes on you, girl. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you be any more suspicious for now? Like, not even Nagito did such a suspicious, like, first impression on me, so... This guy just reeks of suspicion. What do you think, Shuichi? I don't know, he's like... He's kinda gripping me out, can we just go? Yeah, I know what you mean, girl. I I'm boy, goddammit. Why am I calling Shuichi girl? My god. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, Shuichi. He has a lot of piercings on his ear. Like, a lot. <laughs> Did we like, really just like uh, clip the piercing? I don't know if he had piercings before in his other uniform. So did we really just like um, pierce his ear while giving him this new un uniform? It should have hurt. I don't know. Maybe, I, I never did that many piercings, but I know that this the one piercing like um, like this one like my one earring already like my earrings alone uh, hurt enough. So. I don't know. I don't want to know how the other ones feel. Why, why do you so suspicious, man? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Why are you so suspicious? What are you? What are you planning? No. And nothing. Just a feeling. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> 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 hey, don't worry about it. All right. Let's be the best of friends, guys. I'm. 
definitely going to be with you for a while. Uh, oh my god, why? I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what's going through his head right now. I agree, he seems kinda weird. Yay, friendship? Question mark fragment? <laughs> My entire support card has been updated based on your experience of um array. What are you looking at? Let's just take a few steps back. Oh, level four, yay. Let's just let's 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 look at him. Like what is this report card saying? <laughs> God damn it. E. So I've I've ten? So he's the tallest so far. Like he looked pretty tall, so. Mm-hmm. So October third. Well, that's a little bit away. When it was not too long ago. Extra ex wait wait, he likes extra territorial rights and he dislikes cars. What a thing to do. Very interesting. Look at him being all smug in his picture. What are you looking at? <laughs> are you... <laughs> like, he's still like, mocking me for not knowing about his talent and his... and his character. Just because I can't figure him out. You seem much more nicer, Shuichi. Please keep... please stay that way, okay? <laughs> oh my god. It's going... he's going... he's just reeking of trouble. Don't you even dare look at me like that. Let's see. What do you have to say? Mm, actually. But I would at least like to remember my talent by the time we get out of here. Yeah, okay. Looks like we've got plenty of time. Oh, oh oops. Sorry. Shouldn't jinx it. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. We're going to go your way. Um... Just stay where you are and please don't hurt anyone, okay? Yeah, bye. <laughs> you know, he's like thinking about stuff. Is this anything else to say? Actually. Nope. That's so. <laughs> yeah, he's a weirdo. He's definitely weird and suspicious, Rentaro mommy. I'm gonna keep my eye on you, man. Alright. Why do I have a feeling he's gonna be here for a while? Just the way he is. Hmm. Got these, like, seats for BT? But, yeah, looks like some VIP seats or something like that. Oh, what's this? End of the hallway. It's locked out. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to go here yet. I wanted to look around more. God damn. Please, uh, be patient with me, guys. Oh, man. Why? <laughs> we just... He's staring at us again. Is he going to keep staring at us if we look? Yeah, I did a, I did a mistake. Are you judging me for that? God damn it, boy. Oh my god, he's, like, he's following me with his gaze. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Um, what else can I hear? Investigate? Oh, the school store. Let's see. Oh. It's closed. Oh. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. You're right. Okay. Trichi, please. You have to stay with me and keep me um and give me your positive energy, okay? This looks really molded. Look at that. So interesting. Oh, warehouse. Okay. So we have a dining hall and a warehouse. Let's just let's look let's, let's go to a warehouse. Stay where you are, boy. If I come back and you're closer, I'm going to go for a run. <laughs> okay. Let's look around. Ooh, that's a big warehouse. Reminds me of these um of these supermarkets where we have like all sorts of stuff. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's look around. So we have a girl here. Oh, I think it's yeah, it's the angry one from before. So let's look around. What can we investigate? Hmm, shot put ball. Let's see. A shot put ball for track and field. Does this place even have a sports stadium? 
I don't know. It would be pretty cool. There's sea helicopter. Okay. A remote controlled helicopter. What's what's this doing in a school warehouse? I wonder. Looks like a little fly. <laughs> I never had one of these, but I heard they're pretty much pretty fun. A mat. Uh, I can click. These mats are pretty heavy. It must be it must be a lot of work to carry these to the gym. Probably. I really hope we won't be like we won't have to go to the gym or something. There are hurdles too. We could hold our own track and field meets with all this equipment. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's make a sports festival out of this place. High jump bar. Okay. This looks like a high jump pole for track and field. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect to see professional equipment like this here. Yeah, that's pretty suspicious. What about this monitor? Do you have anything new to say about that? So, a monitor is installed in the warehouse too. Like this, is, look, these things are everywhere, in every hallway and room so far. Even in the toilet, so... <laughs> can I smack things around? I can! Yes. Should you get out of my demon way? I want to hit some stuff. I, I need to hit more stuff. Oh, yes. Come on, I want to hit some more stuff. Looks like I can hit more, but I guess I can't anymore. I already hit everything. Again. Oh! Okay, we had some some more things to hit. What the hell is that? It looks so suspicious. Hmm, it's a pretty big ass warehouse. Just saying. Hmm. Okay. Guess I can't hit anything else. Okay, let's talk to Shuichi. First of all. Hmm. This warehouse is huge. It must be difficult to find anything. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's talk to you, girl. God damn it! Yep, she's definitely angry about something. That's an interesting design. I like the color palettes on her. Well, she'll, she'll, well, I don't want. To, I wouldn't want it to be, but she reminds me a little bit about of Junko because of the hair color and her eyes and stuff like that. But maybe it's just my imagination, because I think Sonya kind of looked a little bit like like from the colors, a little bit like the same. So not sure about this. She's got a ribbon and so what the hell is that? Uh, wait, let, let's also guess the ultimate talent of her. She's angry, so maybe... Uh, if there's so many sports things, maybe something athletic, maybe she is like something... A gymnast we already have, a swimmer we already have, maybe an ultimate runner, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the ultimate pole jumper, I don't know. <laughs> ultimate dancer, I'm not sure. I don't know, guys. What did she? What is? What is she looking like? Well, she has some go goggles on her head. It'd be something more like scientific stuff. It would make sense because that's why she's like looking around this place. But we already have the ultimate mechanic, so I'm not sure about her. She has a, d a very unique style because she's got like a, a pink uniform, but some. Some stuff like um, I mean, maybe it's maybe it's about her character that she has these like it looks like something like restraining stuff on her like like on her on her on her chest and on her arms and all the chokers on her on her like 
neck and stuff like that. Maybe it's just something about your character. Let's find out. Okay, the voices. Mm. Mm. Damn it, where the hell is it? We saw, we saw a conspicuous girl rummaging for a shelf filled with different che uh, che uh, chemicals. Blah. I can't pronounce things. God damn it. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you looking for? Bitch! Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me, bitch. Sorry. I literally just met you, and you've already called me a bitch. God damn. Hey. Uh huh. Hey, I'm I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaede like. Hey. Hey, crotch rod, you staring at my tits? <laughs> okay. So wow. Okay. Huh? What? <laughs> oh damn. Help yourself. You got like you can only dream of landing a big boob toddy like me. Well, she's very full of herself. And pretty foul mouthed. Go on, get yourself a good Eiffel. Okay, girl. Uh, um. No, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. <laughs> oh, poor Shrichi. Don't, don't tease him like that. You mother Oh! <laughs> wow, this. She has very. Very little restrictions on her language, I see. Very interesting. But I can't say I don't like it. It's a very, like, a fresh wind in a Danganronpa game. To be so open. Uh, open with your speak. Uh, like, with your language. I like it so far. But why is she like that? Like, why is she, like, swearing so much and, and like, <laughs> insulting us? Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grope her. You had some bad experiences of men, I guess. Ha! Fucking virgin! <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about, girl? Oh, oh, she... She sounds like a troublemaker. Oh my god. She sounds... She seems so far really like a Sayonji character, like, that just, like, insults you, but more, like, in a Fuyuhiku type of sense, you know? Like, pr more hardcore. She seems like a mixture of a little bit of a Akane, um, because of, um, of the way she has these experiences, because of... maybe of her body and stuff like that, and... But the, the language of, um, of Fuyuhiko and the attitude of Sayonji. That's, that's how she looks, but, but all together she is a very unique person. Like, it's, it's interesting. Oh, I can't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what she might be like. Some type of scientist? That's so far what I can guess. But we already have the ultimate mechanics, so... Yeah. Oh god damn, I think I didn't read the line. Um, what did she just say? That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skivia. No, she said something like this. <laughs> I can identify perfs on sight, and you are definitely a fucking perf. Yeah, okay, that's what she said. Okay. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. I'm. S I, I, uh, what? Don't. Don't. Don't gang up on him. Trichy. Trichy is that type of guy. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. <laughs> this girl is amazing. She is. She is pretty full mouthed and bad. On like on her attitude, but in a different sense than Sayonji. But she, 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 you don't have to insult him. Um, everyone wears pants, Bo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows that only perps wear hats. Aww. Oh, he seems very. <laughs> he seems pretty upset about that. Look what you did. Come on, boy. Damn. He's so sad. Like he's he's not sad, he's angry. You made him angry. Stop it. 
damn it. No. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. Yeah, that's right. Tell her, Suichi. You can do it now. I like that. I mean, he really stands up for himself. I love it. <laughs> what the hell is happening to you now? Wow. Okay, so she's backing away. What the hell are you getting pissed off at me for? Well, because why wouldn't we be pissed off after you talk to us like that? To tell the world you're sorry. If you're sold me into losing motivation, that loss will be felt across the whole world. Okay. Hey. Um. Hey. Uh, your vocal language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Exactly. Please tell me who you are already. Really? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? Yeah, I don't know. So, that's why you tell me about it, please. I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history! Hmm. Okay. So please, name and talent. I don't want any more people who don't remember her talents, okay? But she has... Despite her lacking of... Like, of courage? Like, she has the courage to speak up, but doesn't have the courage to... Like, to speak um, back at someone who is, like, talking back to her. That's interesting. It's, uh, at least that's what it looks like so far. Maybe she's just a two-faced person. That may be it. Let's see. But she has a good opinion of herself. That's what I know. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mew Iruma. Mew Iruma. An ultimate inventor, huh? So you're inventing things. It's cool. So maybe she can do something. Like maybe she she can really help us out. It's what I think so far. Um, I've never heard of you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I never heard of her too. Um. Uh, so what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. Okay. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. That's a lot of things while you sleep doing things. Uh, why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. Okay. <laughs> well, this one time I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. That was your invention? Holy huh? crap! Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> your friends sound like total collapse. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you two. Wow, okay, thanks for that, girl. Wow, she is pretty mean. Can you, like, tone it down a little bit? I signed a patent right over to some company and never looked back. Oh, I think that may have been your best invention. Just saying. The other stuff seems interesting, but the eye drops definitely did the thing for you. <laughs> that seems like a waste. Exactly. It's way better when you do stuff while sleep inventions. So far, at least. <laughs> Maybe she'll invent something better. Um, by the way, uh, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. Oh yeah, she was. I didn't even... <laughs> I, I kind of forgot about that, but I thought maybe... Now, now that she's like... I thought maybe because she's someone um, sports, sports-like or scientific stuff, and now in this like adventure stuff, maybe she was like something look to like to build a machine or stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she did something like this. What was that? Eh, uh, you're a dumbass. In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Okay. Huh? Medicine. Are you hurt or feeling sick? Maybe. I'm, uh... Maybe. Bye. 
fucking moron! No, idiot, I need strong meds, cause I wanna trip my fucking balls off. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. The game just really did a 100 jump from the, uh, from, the from the previous games when it comes to limitations, because she is the personification of someone who has no strings attached, so... She's definitely a proof that this game has gone far beyond the point of anything else. Like, in the sense of talking freely and stuff like that, if you know what I mean, without any restrictions. But it's but it's not like I'm complaining, I find it very intriguing because this, now you can like really... It just some, seems now more real to me that people like talk about these stuff that is kind of normal in our generation like stuff like like having vulgar language or talking about stuff like drugs and no <laughs> things like that you know it's something that i found pretty odd in the other game like if in, in the first game it was okay but in the second game i really noticed that you were pretty restricted with your own language like there were really little times where they seriously said something very vulgar but uh, right now we're just straight jumping to a point, so <laughs> no limitations seen anywhere around here, so I like it. Seems much more real to me, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty... I can't say that I don't find it amusing. But please don't be too mean to us, okay, Mio? I'm gonna have... I'm gonna keep you in mind. Petrantaro is still pretty much at the high top suspicion list of my of the people that we've met so far. So you're doing drugs, huh? Don't do it. So she has experience in many ways. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this shitty situation. I hope you don't mean that. Oh jeez. Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high? You definitely shouldn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> Kate is a very good girl. <laughs> exactly. No, she's like kind of backing away. Stop it! Like before. What the hell? My genius can be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place is probably this place does probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get, Lucy Goosey. No, it probably doesn't. You're right. Why are you talking like me, Khan? <laughs> Don't remind me of the past, it's painful, okay? Okay, so now she has even me, Khan, in her, like, a little bit, like, this part right now, the way she talks and is looking, like, at you, like, in this position, like, she really seems now, like, more of a Mikan character, but she's like it's interesting because she seems like a Sayonji and Mikan mixed in one, and that's interesting. Wonder what really happened to her. It will be interesting to find out. So I'm going to keep her in mind. So are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? Yeah, I will be done. They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity. But she's definitely beyond insane. <laughs> well said, Kaida. Well said. Obtain friendship fragment question mark? We don't know. But it is kind of what it is. Shuichi. Oh, poor boy. He was so... She was talking so bad about him in his head. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up with Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since Mew mentioned his head. Does he not like to talk about it? Oh, well, maybe. Because his head is definitely... Now that she even mentions it like that, maybe it's just something very personal to him. So, I'm... Some people are really loud outside. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so something about his head is, seems really personal. Maybe we'll find out later on when we spend some time with him. I'm not sure. We'll see. So, let's look around a little bit more. Can we talk to you again? So, oh, so, sorry, I didn't want to smack your boobs. <laughs> what was that? Eh? Leave me alone, I'm busy. Uh, no, Dado. God damn it. Okay, so she doesn't want to see us. 
Just want to talk. What about you? Don't be sad. Uh, he's been quiet now. And uh, he's quiet now. Maybe he doesn't like it when people talk about his head. Aw, poor boy. It's okay, I'm pretty sure. You're looking just fine even without the hat. Hmm. I think there's nothing else here. But it's a pretty big ass place. Look at that. I don't even know what is still here. I will probably never find out. Yeah, let's go outside and try to find anyone else. Oh god, I'm still watching you. Is he coming closer? I hope not. Stay where you are, Rintaro. Stay where you are. I'm going to find you guys. We will be together forever in this place. <laughs> uh, not sure, like Mew and Rintaro. So many strange people. But I can't say that I don't like it. But please don't be a Nagito. Don't pull a Nagito on me, Rantaro. And you, Shuichi, stay the Nagito that you are, okay? I'm having my eye on you, mister. <laughs> I'm going to come after you guys. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, man. Dining hall. Okay. Let's see. Oh, more people. Yay. Is this a dining hall? The dining hall definitely make the... The hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. Hmm. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for ju Gifted Juveniles. Yeah, which is pretty strange. Like, wait a minute, let me just get a little bit to drink because this... The voices are still... Are going to hurt me a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, now I feel a little bit better. I guess it's a little bit difficult after some time. <laughs> I'm not used to it. But we'll get into this. But this academy, yeah, okay, the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. I hope it's anything like a typical school. Eh, no, it's not. It already doesn't look like a typical school. <laughs> Pretty old schoolish. Hmm. Oh, we have some rules. Looks like the rules for the dining hall. Okay. Dining hall rules. You may eat any food you find in the dining hall. Please take responsibility for all utensils and dishes used and clean up after, you after yourself. The dining hall will be locked during night time. Night time? So it's closed? Uh, so it's closed. It's closed at night? Yeah, I seem like it. Do we have anything else we can investigate? Mm, well, the monitor again. We are everywhere. This one is way too high tech, yeah. Okay, so that's the same thing. Anything else? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, can we smack some things around here? Yep, we definitely can. Why do you smack things around whenever we, wherever we go? I'm sorry, Shuichi, I just need to coins, you know? Oh, that seems kind of weird. I'm sorry. You'll get used to it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, what? A terrace door. This, this door is blocked by barbed wire. The same goes through the classroom windows. Don't tell me all the exits are blocked. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Hmm, that's a kitchen, I see. I can't, like, smack anything else around here. Oh well, some nice ass flowers around and more grass. Let's see, what do you think, Shuichi? Hmm. It seems this place has all the facilities you'd expect, but it's covered in the overgrowth. Could that mean this has been abandoned for a long time? Maybe. Yeah, let me just get my my headset a little bit better because kind of hurting my my head a little bit. <laughs> um, wait, what did she say? Hmm. Is this coming out of a curve? Yeah, that's true. Does that mean this has been abandoned for a long time? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, so I wonder what it means. Look at all these things. Like, so, so really fa like, not fashionable, like very modern stuff. So, girl... You look really interesting. She looks like a witch. <laughs> so let's talk to this little nugget. Yeah, always 
stuck here. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, she looks cute. Look at her. <laughs> she looks like a little, uh, like a little witch or something. Very fitting to Halloween. <laughs> ah, but this doesn't. S but don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of of this place in a jiffy. Yeah, keep no. being positive. I'm. I'm not scared. I'm, it's just a pain. Okay. Something. Like, this will make me panic, cause I'm a mage. A mage? Huh? A mage? Yeah, what I, what I said. Hmm, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mage. You sound very enthusiastic about that. <laughs> Okay, the ultimate mage. Um, I didn't know that you could use real magic, but I just, well, anything's possible, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I feel the same way, guys. I feel the same way. <laughs> Aww. But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate magician. I see. Oh, I see. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense, well, since magic doesn't exist. Yeah, I would be surprised about that. <laughs> oh, she looks kind of mad about that. <laughs> She's making a little grumpy face. Hmm. Uh, nee, magic does exist. <laughs> oh, I see. So she's she's having her own pride in these things. Huh? <laughs> I because I'm a mage. Um, you're just a magician, right? No, only on paper. <laughs> oh, why does she remind me of a little hamster? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I've known a magician. I've n I'm known as a magician, but that's just the rules. I'm actually a mage. Okay. Huh? Just just the rules. Mm. You guys might not. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. All right. Also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. Mm-hmm. I... I was the youngest person to ever win the Magician of the Year award. That's cool. Yeah. But, uh, my, me personally, I really enjoy these magician shows and stuff like that. It's always too, very interesting to see. And she appears to see to have seen a lot of Harry Potter movies, that's why she's probably doesn't really want to say that it's just a trick or something like that. It's real magic. <laughs> I see. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Get out. It's all a ruse. <laughs> why you I'm keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as a tricks. Okay. <laughs> she seems so. She seems really interesting, but very nice so far. A little bit, a little bit unenthusiastic. So, because of the rules, people famous all over the world perform. All over the world for people. I couldn't read it. Because of these rules, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Oh, it's okay, girl. Um, there, there. Don't be sad. Yeah, pat, pat on your little hat. <laughs> I can just imagine Katie doing that. Oh, poor little Himiko. That's her name, right? Hey. <laughs> well, you could show us your magic, and we would believe you. Exactly, just do that and everything is fine. That's right! Oh, that's right! Help us out of your magic. 
Take us back to when we originally... No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Mm. Uh, I see. When? What can you do? You're right. I can choose the cards you picked, put all coins, and release doves. Sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> nee, if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. <laughs> oh, those are just ordinary magic tricks. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that may be it. We don't want to make her sad, okay? We just have to say and be just... It's okay. It's it's real magic. We don't want to make her mad or sad, okay? <laughs> she seems very... In her own little magical world. <laughs> okay, a friendship fragment obtained. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, Himiko Yumeno. Oh, god damn it, Terras. Stop. Himiko! Hey, this is such a pain. Someone find the exit for me already. She doesn't want to try to find it herself. Or maybe she's just pretty lazy. I just <laughs> she's not like very sad or stuff like that. She's just lazy as hell. <laughs> pretty interesting as a mage, especially. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, I have to look at the report cards of before, of the people from before too. So let's just talk to her now and then I will look at the report cards again. Hmm, okay, so maybe the ultimate karate, 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 uh, I don't know how you call that, god damn it. You know, the sports of a um, ultimate boxing girl or something like that. I think she's the ultimate karate girl. You know what I mean? So, let's see. Something with fighting, especially, so. Huh? Also, she seems like a little bit of. I, I saw her before, I think, but she was very loud and a little bit squee. squee screamish. <laughs> so. I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy! Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? That's... Ah, I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. Yes! I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. Hmm, that's, that, that, that's a good point. Especially when you're someone who has... Um, Marry someone who's... What do you call it? If she's someone athletic who's doing something with sport, like fighting sports. I will protect myself with Neo Aikido. Huh? Aikido? Then you're... Oh yes! I'm Tango Chabashira! Yeah, The ultimate Aikido master! Oh, that's cool. I didn't know... I, I, I'm not sure what Aikido is, but I think it's something about a self-defense sport. As far as I understand it. Something of fighting. Hmm, that's cool. So at least now we have someone who can really fight pretty good. Hmm. Tenko. I think that's a lot easier than Jabba Shira. <laughs> I would just call her Tenko. But she seems kind of cute with her big ribbons and um, and her little headbands and stuff like that. Her little uh, t uh, twin tails, uh, pigtails. <laughs> oh, I always imagine Akita masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute. Exactly, I think the same too. Um, cute. <laughs> oh, is she embarrassed about that? People don't call her like that, maybe. Ah. <laughs> Stop it! I'm not cute. <laughs> Aww. My face crinkles when I suck a donut shake. And when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. <laughs> it's okay, girl. No one looks all the time just great, so... 
Don't have to beat yourself over stuff like that. Hmm. Um, I see. But I think you're cute. Right, Shuichi? Yeah. Uh, okay. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> you, see, you see, he's just so nice. Like, he's the best little nugget I can have around. And especially just right next to me, so... It's a... It's a really, he's such a adorable little... Such a cute little chicken nugget. <laughs> oh. Oh! <laughs> what the hell is that face? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. What's happening? Huh? What's the matter? Uh, your face looks really intense now. Yeah. Is it because of what he said? Is that why you're making such a weird face? What's happening, girl? What's happened to you? Uh, I, I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Oh no, are you a sexist? Hmm. De degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uh, uncomfortable around them? Oh. Yes! It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Okay, that's a pretty big problem then. Has something maybe to do with what happened to you before, but still. That seems pretty intense. Yeah. You're right, that's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. True. Couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> oh man. Hey! Uh, by the way, what is this new Aikido you mentioned? That's right! Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. <laughs> okay, so that's something with her and her master, apparently. Um, I'm wondering who that might be, but probably a girl, maybe a boy, I don't know about that, but. So something they made up, Neo Aikido. Because she just said she's an Aikido master. So I guess Neo Aikido isn't the same thing, so something else. So your Aikido is all self-taught. <laughs> oh. And we have a friendship fragment. Yeah. The power of friendship is within me. Yes. <laughs> oh, Shrichi. Tenko. Tell me more about you. You're a little loud little girl, aren't you? I don't think she's so little. She seems pretty tall. <laughs> Yep. Jeez, you're so loud. Shuichi, do you have any glue on you? <laughs> oh, okay, don't be like <laughs> that. Uh, I know what you're thinking, but we probably shouldn't. Yeah, probably we shouldn't do that. <laughs> what do you think, Shuichi? Anything else? Hmm. Okay, no, you're just saying before. Okay, then, we have, I think, everything covered here. Nothing else that we can hit. Oh, look, even the tables are like connected to some sort of cords or something. That's interesting. Like the cafeteria stuff, tables. It's so weird. It looks like... Like, look at the windows. They're looking pretty sci-fi. I don't know. It doesn't look like any normal window to me. Everything is so... Look at this. Like, it looks like something out of an aquarium or a spaceship. Uh, ship. I don't know. Maybe it's just my weird opinion about stuff. I I'm still watching you. Oh my god. What is up with you, man? Do I have to go? Yeah, I have to. I can't continue here. Oh, so many broken TVs. Hmm. Should really keep my eyes out for some stuff. It looks so, like... Old, but still looks. What's with the floor pattern? Hmm. Don't look at me like that, man. <laughs> Let's just look at our report cards <laughs> for now. Let's see. So now we have Himiko. Himiko Yumino. <gasps> She's only 411. She's so small. Oh my god. That's kind of cute. Aww, Himiko. 
on December 3rd, that's a little bit, that's a couple of months and then you're finally, yeah, when she's a little bit older. Like small spaces and dislikes the ocean. <laughs> oh, that makes sense because the ocean is probably one of the biggest places on the planet, so I can see why she would not like to be there for too long. <laughs> oh well, let's see. Tego Chabashi, Chabashira. She's only 5'5? Five five? So we're a lot taller than she is. Yeah, so she's still pretty... Yeah, she is like one of... Like, after her, she's probably like... So far, one of the shortest girls. She didn't really look like that. Oh, I didn't even notice. She has also like a choker, like some type of bell around her. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be something significant about her character. She seems pretty, yeah, pretty gung-ho about her <laughs> the Aikido thing. So, uh, January 9th. Well, it's still a little bit to go till she's having a birthday. So, likes nunchucks and dislikes men. Okay, that's not a big surprise there. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't expect that about her, but... That's cool. Oh well, let's see what's... Yeah, what's about Mio? Mio Iruma. Okay, she's the same height as me, right? Uh, yes. So, she's 5'8". And November 16th. And that's only a little bit to go and when she's... Oh well, that's not too much away. That's cool. Likes children's television. Hmm. And this likes taking it easy. Well, she gives herself a lot of, like, intense... Intensity. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my eye out of him. Oh man, look at all her stuff that she's wearing. Yeah, it seems like some kind of restraints or whatever. Or maybe some self-defense things. Around her thighs and stuff like that. I don't know. Interesting. She seems a little bit like a small troublemaker. Well, she seems a little bit sexist, but everything else makes her seem pretty okay. And she's fairly nice when it comes to like normal situations. Dimiko, she seems like a cute little hamster. <laughs> but so she likes a little goober. That she's so lazy and stuff and makes her pretty nice. And I like her design too. Very cute. But she has like her little mage thing going on with herself. But we still have a pretty a lot of people to meet up, so I guess we kinda look at trying out about them. Oh. Like I was wondering about this. Like, I saw this with anyone else I didn't saw, but I saw this with me. Like, I have no bonds with these people. Skill list. Skill list? What is that? Wait a second. Okay, guys, I'm, uh, I'm back. <laughs> I just had to uh, make some things like I had to make some arrangements. So wait, what is this? We have s oh, we have uh, like the um and, oh, I guess these are like the things that we can learn for class trials. That's very interesting. So let's see. Atten at attentive flu influence increases maximum influence a little. Effective during. Okay, we have influence. Focus. Okay. Effective during all parts of a class trial can't be combined with envious influence. Okay. Increase maximum focus a little. Effective during all parts of a class trial can be combined with menacing focus. I don't know what that is yet. Slightly increases the time limit in each phase, effective during all parts of a class trial. Okay. Charisma. Radical shakes less. It's shaking? Oh god. 
Full and Composed. Slows the speed of a radical. Effective to non the base can be combined with upshift. Oh, what's upshift? Increases the speed of a radical, okay. Can be combined with downshift, okay. Trigger happy. Increases the delay of using truth bullets or truth blades. Effective to non stop mass panic in the bubble shot, okay. Natural liberation for the stream, so work on stream if never. Okay, delusion slowly to recover the influence guide. We're concentrating and during fever time. Okay. If is it something's uh, really costly, like 16 points? Like holy crap! Mind's eye reveals V point. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Oh yeah. Librarian's glare. You have a you have I have a Fukava glare on me. <laughs> oh man. Okay, guys, sorry that I don't talk too much. Okay, so that's it. I don't. I won't buy anything so far. I'm just gonna keep that in mind. But I think that's... I'm gonna watch you for quite some time now, yeah? <laughs> this man. Gonna keep my eye from him, but... Let's look at him. From a safe distance. He's still kept keeping his like, eye on us. And let's just end the part right here because I'm going a little bit too long and some people, um, like I have to do some stuff, but I will soon record the rest, like um, just like finding out about the ultimates now little by little. So far what I can say is the cast is very likable. Some people are very suspicious, they're giving me the vibes of it I don't want to have, if you know what I mean. But everything else seems pretty nice so far. Um, I really like the limited restrictions on their language. I really like the different characters. They are very much individual. They don't are they aren't like some spin-off characters from the other games. You can see Jesus Christ, the phone. You can pretty much uh, see some similarities. But um they aren't like like you just see similarities like in some character aspects, but everything else seems very different. So I was just going to see what I can find out about and what, what else we can find out about our classmates. So for now... God. <laughs> so for now guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoy um, this play for as much as I do. And we'll see each other in the next part of Let's Play. Dang and Rompa. Be free. Killing Harmony. Have a nice day. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want. And have a wonderfully nice day. Until the next part guys. See ya!